हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम बाहुबली देसाई इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज ऑन रिसर्च एप्टीट्यूड फॉर योर अपकमिंग एपी सेट एग्जामिनेशन 2020 हैज यू ऑल नो एपी सेट एग्जामिनेशन इज गोइंग टू हेल्ड इन द मंथ ऑफ डिसेंबर सो फॉर योर एपी सेट एग्जामिनेशन वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू 20 मॉक टेस्ट ओनली एट रुपीस 399 दीज मॉक टेस्ट आर रिलेटेड टू पेपर 1 एंड दियर द क्वेश्चंस विल बी इन इंग्लिश एंड आल्सो इन तेलुगु एंड दीज मॉक टेस्ट आर वेरी हेल्पफुल टू बूस्ट योर प्रिपरेशन एंड हियर यू विल गेट all the questions in english and in also in telugu and for all the questions you can get feedback to your registered gmail id okay in this way these mock tests are very helpful to assess your paper 1 preparation and to join for these tests you have to pay 399 rupees and send the screenshot to this whatsapp number then you will be added to our paid whatsapp group you, you can access our mock test through our website and also through this paid whatsapp group here you will get 20 mock tests and also you can get PDF of all these 20 tests. You can clarify your doubts and you can discuss on MCQs in this paid WhatsApp group with your friends and also with our global online university team. The limit is 50, so we will okay. We will take only 50 students in this group. So join fast and I wish all the best for everyone who are appearing for AP SET examination. and friends i assure you that these mock tests are very helpful and help you bring more marks in your paper 1 okay let us move to the questions here the question is which of the following variable which of the following variables cannot be expressed in qualitative terms option a socio economic status option b marital status option c numerical aptitude option d professional attitude ओके हियर क्वेश्चंस एंड ऑप्शंस आर देयर इन तेलुगु आल्सो यू कैन रीड ओके फ्रेंड्स हियर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर न्यूमेरिकल एप्टीट्यूड नंबर्स न्यूमेरिकल नंबर्स वी कांट एक्सप्रेस इन क्वालिटेटिव टर्म्स सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड एज यू ऑल नो देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेरिएबल वन इज क्वांटिटेटिव वेरिएबल अनदर वन इज क्वालिटेटिव वेरिएबल quantitative variables are those variables which we can count or which we can measure for example height weight time number of items sold to a shopper these are all examples for the quantitative variables how many students are there in your class okay how many boys are there how many girls students are there these are all quantitative variables where we can count in numbers and coming to the qualitative variables variables that are not measurement variables okay which the variables are unable to calculate in numbers those type of variables are known as the qualitative variables okay for example hair color religion marital status political party profession these are all the variables which we can't express in numbers so these variables are known as the qualitative variables please remember all this information one question will be there on the variables okay in the previous net examination also one question was there on the qualitative variable okay qualitative variables so let us move to the next question in the process of conducting research formulation of hypothesis is followed by option a statement of objectives option b analysis of data option c selection of research tool option d collection of data okay here the right answer is formulation of hypothesis is followed by selection of research tool okay this selection of research tool is essential to formulate the hypothesis so here the right answer is option c okay i hope you will remember this answer now we'll move to the next question okay the next question is what is statistical inference okay option a reaching conclusions from a sample option b analyzing statistical data option c applying statistical method option d developing statistical theories okay what do you mean by statistical inference in research methodology okay the right answer is option a reaching conclusions from a 
सैंपल प्लीज रिमेम्बर द आंसर ऑप्शन ए रीचिंग कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम अ सैंपल इज द राइट आंसर and statistical inference means it is the process okay statistical inference it is the process through which inferences about population please remember inferences about population are made based on the certain statistics calculated from a sample data here inferences about the population or ideas about the population are made based on the sample of the data okay sometime you are not going to investigate all the population we will select some sample and we will apply the result to the whole population so in this way inference about population made based on the sample data is known as the statistical inference i hope you will remember this let us go to the next question the most essential step in the research process that determines every step that follows is to option a decide whether qualitative or quantitative methods are to be used option b review the literature in order to acquit oneself with comprehensive knowledge option c have a clear idea about the methods of analyzing data and drafting a plan to achieve option d formulation of the problem with its objectives hypothesis variables and limitations friends here the right answer is option b review the literature in order to acquire acquire oneself with comprehensive knowledge please remember this answer it is the most essential step in the research process review the literature in order to acquire oneself with comprehensive knowledge you have to remember this let us go to the next question okay our reasoning where we start with certain particular statement and conclude with universal statement where you are starting from particular and moving towards the universal that is known as the option a deductive reasoning option b inductive reasoning option c abnormal reasoning option d transcend transcendental reasoning friends the right answer is option b inductive reason reasoning is the correct answer okay here match the following list 1 is showing about interviews list 2 is showing us meaning here uh, interviews option is structured interviews option b unstructured interviews option c focused interviews option d clinical interviews option d non directive here meaning greater flexibility approach attention on the questions to be answered individual life experience predetermined question okay four options are there friends here the correct answer is option a is the right answer it means structure interviews is related to predetermined questions okay in structure interview the questions are already determined and in b uh, unstructured interviews is related to greater flex uh, flexibility approach and focused interview it is related to uh, attention on the questions to be answered and non directive individual life experience so i hope you will remember these answers let us move to the next question what do you consider has the main aim of interdisciplinary research option a to bring out holistic approach to research option b to reduce the emphasis of single subject in research domain option c to over simplify the problem of research option d to create a new trend in research methodology friends here the right answer is option a to bring out holistic approach to research so option a is the correct answer let us go to the next question which of the following is non probability sampling okay option a uh, snowball sampling option b random sampling option c cluster sampling option d stratified sampling friends if we go through the options all these random cluster and stratified sampling are probability slam sampling but snowball sampling is a non probability sampling so the right answer is option a snowball sampling 
Okay, what do you mean by snowball sampling? Here, the researcher is going to recruit one uh, okay one subject, and other these sub uh, subject will recruit recruit the other subject. For example, here one researcher will recruit uh, three persons, and these three persons are going to recruit other persons, and these persons are will recruit the other person. This is known as the snowball sampling. It is also known as the child's referral sampling. Okay, let us move to the next question. The idea that knowledge comes from experience is option A rationalism, option B deductive reasoning, option C logic, option D empiricism. The right answer is option D empiricism is the right answer. Please remember this. I, knowledge comes from experience is known as the empiricism. So let us go to the next question. Which of the following is defined as a systematic method of evaluating statistical data based on the results of several independent studies of the same problem? Option A, factor analysis. Option B, meta analysis. Option C, systematic analysis. Option D, none of the above. Friends, here the right answer is option B, meta analysis. Please remember this. And meta analysis is a quantitative formal epidemiological study design used to systematically assess the results of previous research to derive conclusions about the body of research. You have to remember this meta analysis is a quantitative formal study design and this is you it, it is systematically used to assess the results of previous research to derive the conclusion okay uh, let us go to the next next question here again one match the following is there option a historical method option b survey method option c philosophical method option d experimental method list to past event uh, vision, present events, future action. Okay, four options are there. The right option is option A is the correct answer. It means uh, historical method is related to past events. Okay, historical research, research it is related to past events. Then survey method is related to present events. Then philosophical method it is related to vision and experimental research is related to future action. Okay, I hope you all will remember these answers. Now we'll go to the next question. The approach which is based on the assumption that social phenomena can be explained by observing cause and effect is option A positivism, option B interpretivism, option C qualitative, option D none of the above. Friends here the correct answer is option A positivism is the right answer. And as a philosophy, positivism others to view that only factual knowledge is gained through the observation. Here knowledge is gained through the senses, through the observation. I hope you will remember this. Uh, let us go to the next question. Okay, which of the following terms can be associated with research in social science? Option A, causal research. Option B, empirical research. Option C, correlational research. Option D, all of the above. Friends, here the correct answer is Option B, empirical research is related to social science research. And what do you mean by empirical research? Empirical research is a type of research methodology that makes use of verifiable evidence. Please remember this. Empirical research make use of the verifiable evidence in order to arrive at the research outcomes. This line we have to remember. In other words, this type of research relies solely on evidence obtained through the observation or data collection methods. Okay. Okay, friends, this is about the today's session. And once again, I would like to tell you about our paid WhatsApp group for AP set examination. Okay, if you pay 399 rupees, you will be added to our pay AP set paid WhatsApp group where you, where you can assess our mock test. We will send the links link of the mock test in this group. You can give test from here. You can uh, ask, get the whole syllabus of AP set. Then uh, you will get all 20. 
P uh, solution uh, 20 test solution PDF we will get you can discuss in this group and you can ask your queries in this group and uh, to join for this AP set uh, paid WhatsApp group you can contact to this number 8179138413 okay friends still uh, we are having much time and if you give more and more mock tests in this period this uh, you uh, I assure you you will uh, you will be succeed in your examination and one more thing these mock tests are very helpful to your paper one preparation friends you you in uh, all the mock tests are containing all the topics and the 50 uh, one mock test is containing 50 questions means 20 mock tests we are providing i hope this is enough for your paper one preparation Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, to join our test, you can contact to that given number. And for UGC net, for my MS set, for K set, you can subscribe to our Global Online University YouTube channel. Thank you.